Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. I'm doing something a little bit different, but I'm pretty excited to do this. Um, so basically what I'm going to do with this is that I'm really just going to do a time-lapse replay of drawings and art that I've done. And I'm just going to give commentary about the art, the stuff, I think. Literally, it just, it, it pretty much varies. I think I'll probably do something different for every video. I would like for this to become a recurring like series I can do because I actually am enjoying with this because I think it's cool um so right now when I'm drawing I'm just like drawing myself um I drew this specifically for this video because I was like I don't know what to draw so I'll just do something like this so I'm just drawing myself I tried doing something different for my eyes right here like you can see like the eyelids are kind of like poking out a bit and stuff like that so yeah um, the time lapse replay is a bit rocky with like its cuts and stuff. This is new to me. Um, like Procreate has this tool where like it records your time lapse replay. And I just did that, but I think it went by way too fast. So I had to slow it down and now it just looks bad. I'm still trying to figure this out. I think it'll look better if I try to do this again. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing so far. Um, so I do, uh, art uh, and stuff like that. All my thumbnails, my banner, my profile picture, the thumbnails, like... Like, I don't think I would have the confidence to make this channel without Procreate. Because it, it pretty much supports everything. Like, iMovie is my source of, like, uh, editing software and stuff like that. But this, this is what really got me into actually doing these videos. Um, yeah, that's what I do. On Procreate, the way I do stuff is that I just do, I just kind of do what everyone else does. I do a sketch. Then I trace over it with, like, a better... Uh, more clear brush right now. I'm using a 6b pencil um, It's the closest thing to a lead pencil. I have uh, On procreate. So yeah, that's thing. That's pretty cool um, uh, I usually trace over the sketches with a eagle hawk brush because I think it's very clear But I kind of made some like tweaks and edits to it to make it look more clear and stuff like that. <clears throat> oh I, I don't know if I mentioned this I may have already did but I'm sick I have a bit of a cold, and I threw up this morning, but I'm okay. I'm fine. I promise. I'm okay. Uh, it's just, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is just what I'm gonna do. I would like to do more of this later on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So, I've been, like, thinking about the way I draw myself in videos, and I'm like, well, and I'm like, I, I've always been pretty content with the way I draw myself, until the more and more times I would show my friends, like, hey, I did a drawing, this is supposed to be me, they would be like, well, that's not like you, and I'm like, well, yeah, of course it's not, it's a cartoon character version of myself, of course it's not gonna look like me, and the more and more I thought about it, I was like, well, maybe that's not really the case, like, it's just like, I think my version, this version I draw myself, relies more on physical characteristics more than it does, like, exaggerating, like, my personality or stuff like that. It's hard to explain. Um, but the, the point I'm trying to make here is, I don't think this looks like me. Because the more and more I see pictures of myself in videos, and I go back to this, I'm like, you know what, maybe they're right, this, this really does not look like me. Um, I've always kind of, I guess, pretty much just lied to myself and said, yeah, it does. It, it really isn't. It's really pretty hollow, the reason why I do myself like this. The reason I draw myself like this, I, I actually kind of just came to this realization while thinking about this video. The way I draw myself has nothing to do with what I look like. I combine the physical characteristics and traits I'm best at drawing and literally just put them onto one character. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, this is me. But that's that's really not the case. It really isn't. But, uh, yeah. So that's what I mean. It's kind of like, oh my gosh. This is like me. Because I, like, I can draw puffy hair pretty good. Like, I think I'm good at that. But short hair? No, I can't. I'm, <laughs> I need to challenge myself more in drawing. But it's hard to push myself. So, yeah, I... Yeah, just stuff like that. It's just stuff I've been thinking about. The more I'm learning, I'm like, well, 
why do I draw myself like this? Why do I look like this? It's just really hard and something that I never really considered until, um, trying to make this video and stuff like that. Like, like, the, does this persona myself mean anything other than I'm good at drawing all of these things? But I'm like, yeah. So, yeah, that's just something I was thinking about for this. So later on, um, I'm thinking about doing a video where I talk about the first time I ever went to an art gallery. And going there, I saw some really cool stuff and some really bad stuff. Um, for example, uh, I remember going in there, um, I saw a official Van Gogh painting, which was insane. I'll probably go more in depth of that if I ever do this. But um, I saw something in there that blew my mind because it was so stupid and so dumb that it ended up... And the Yale University Art Gallery. And it makes no sense to me whatsoever. I went in there. And we were looking around. We were looking at all this amazing stuff. Crazy stuff like that. And we walk in. And there's this giant. Like really, really, really big. Like just white canvas. And all what was on that white canvas. Was like maybe three, four. Like big, big navy stripes. That was it. That was the entire thing. That's all it was. Like, it was literally just a giant white canvas with nothing but navy stripes. That's so lazy. Like, how how is that important? How is that considered art at all? That just doesn't make any sense to me. It really just doesn't. And I'm just like, like, how do, how do art critics ever, like, see the meaning in anything? I see, I don't think I ever paint or draw... Well, I'm, I might draw. I, I mean, I just can't paint. Painting is not where it's at. I think I've always found that more of a professional and something taking more seriously while cartoons is, is not. It's not a very serious thing. And it's like, what, if if this giant canvas with three navy stripes on it, the, that's the whole thing, ends up in one of the biggest, well, I, I guess maybe not biggest, but pretty huge art museum. Now, why isn't, like, Ed, Ed, and Eddie in, like, the modern art museum? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me how anyone can make out, yeah, this is, this is art, but this, is just a silly, goofy little drawing. I don't know how anyone separates those two things. It just, it has never made any sense to me, and I want to make a video going even more depth into that sort of thinking, I guess. So right now, I'm doing a sketch, uh, well, no, no, I'm doing the outlining of, uh, myself, and I'm just kind of drawing over stuff, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, uh, I think I do a lot more sketches than I ever do color. Um, when I'm drawing on paper, I much, much prefer, um, just leaving a sketch where it is. I, I, I think I prefer coloring something digitally. Um, rather than doing something on paper because when I do it on paper, it doesn't look right. It, it never it never really does But but doing it here on something digital. I just find it more and more better looking. Sorry I burped. Yeah but Yeah, I find it more and more professional looking and um, I would rather do it on procreate or something like this So what I think is a good way to find a way to get better and better at art is to find different styles, which took me a while to finally grasp on and realize, like, what, what style am I really into? And it took me a while to find out what this style really was. Um, and for a while, like, I think it, my, my drawings of myself and other things has really evolved over time. Like... At first, uh, I would pretty much just draw, you know, just start with the basic stick figures, you know, just basic circles, lines, you know, just, 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 just the beginner stuff, stuff like that. And, you know, I was just thinking like, wow, I, I can't believe this is so much change because then I move on to using dot eyes for everything, which I, I, I guess I still do, but I don't do it for, uh, humans and characters that much. 
Um, I do it more for like animals and stuff, which is something I want to get better at drawing as I get older. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's just really crazy trying trying to find new styles. The way to draw eyes, mouth, nose, hands, the bodies like if you just find your own thing that you feel comfortable with work harder on it and then you can go on and try a new style and I, I just think that's really a good way to find out what you're comfortable with in drawing and how to get better at it I pretty much just been spitballing this entire video but uh I'm trying to give some good commentary here but uh so what I did for this uh, hair part right here that like big uh, streak right down on like the right side um I think this also ties into uh, like things you can do to get better at art and I think it is looking at other people's art because some people look at other people's art and like feel like oh my gosh I can't I can't draw anything right this person is so good at it well, first of all, they've been doing it for probably way longer than you have. I've learned that the more and more I look at this. And also, you can look at their art and say like, Oh, they did they did this with their hands. I might need to try that. I don't really think it's copying, per se. I just think it's like, oh my gosh, this is something they've... Like, this is an advantage of their drawings. I probably need to probably start doing that and getting on their level of getting better at drawing, I guess. I mean, it may be, but like, I don't, I don't know. The way I see it, it's not really copying per se. It's not anything like that. Like, I've seen, I saw this uh, fan art of someone trying to recreate Scooby-Doo characters. And I was seeing a lot of cool stuff in it. They drew uh, Scooby-Doo in like a pretty cool way. Um, and I thought that was like, hey, that's, I might do that with like other dogs and stuff like that. That's cool. Um, like, in, in art, everything is pretty much free, all right? I'm just trying to like tips and things that characters do like it's not you're not paying one dollar to draw the hands like this no you're literally just saying oh you can do it this way if you want oh okay cool so yeah you don't need to feel pressured by that and I realized like in this one I was like maybe I need to add more shading to my hands like the hoodie that's behind my head because I don't think the light would probably hit that as much and I keep seeing that in other drawings. And I'm like, oh, I could try that now. It's just looking at other stuff gives you more tips on what to get better on. When I draw myself, uh, I usually draw myself with a sweater. And this one I try to do like a hoodie. And this is not a hoodie I have in real life. Which for like most videos or most drawings of myself, um, I usually recreate shirts that I actually wear. In my profile picture, I actually have this green sweater that is probably my favorite shirt I have. Um, I'm wearing this, like, long sleeve. It's not much of a sweater. It's kind of like a... Yeah, I don't know. It, it's something. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to say that I most of the time I try to recreate stuff I have. But the pants part is something I actually... Um, yeah, I do have. I have, like, these, like... I think it was like navy stripes like down this like gray pants but I, I just chose a darker gray to be the streaks i guess so it's not exactly the same but you know it's it's close Okay, so now looking at it, I've, I've noticed that there is not, you're probably not seeing anything change as of now. Um, but I am actually adding things to this. Um, I'm adding like little, uh, just like, uh, just like tweaks for the shading and putting it over like the shirts and stuff. It's hard to notice 
But I promise you it's still there. It's not been kept on the same image for this entire time. So I promise you it's fine. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make that point clear. Okay, so later on in the future when I do more episodes of this, um, I might say I might um, maybe do something like uh, I might do something where I draw like a comic and then I add, uh, you know, text, characters, stuff like that. Um, what I do for this is specifically for this video to just start out and see what to do. Um, but uh, yeah, I might do something like that, just like comics with the... Um, what I did for this is that I added the uh, the comic sans text because I find that just text hilarious because I was always like just looks so stupid. It really is. It has to be the worst font text out there, which eh, I don't know. That may be debatable, but it's definitely a contender. I'll tell you that. Alright, I'm probably gonna wrap things up for now. Um, I like this drawing. I think it's kind of stupid, but I, I know I like it. Um, thank you for watching this. I'm definitely gonna do more of this. I've had a lot of fun making this, and I think it's a good way for me to get my thoughts out, but also sharing my perspective on art and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you would like me to do more of this, uh, yeah, that's great. And I'll, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do more of this, whether you like it or not. I'm gonna do more of it. So, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make this. I thought it was a fun project. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye.